What is up my YouTube world? I had to make this video because last night I posted a video with this lady and um, God, I forgot her name now, but um, she basically was talking about how your saliva helps your teeth stay pH balanced. And she was talking about xylitol, how that xylitol stuff kind of pulls the minerals um, out of your teeth or well, not out of your teeth but it like helps contain the minerals so i've never made a video about sorry i was washing my hair about xylitol and so i figure that we need to know what is the xylitol stuff okay so what happens is you she talks about you sip drinks i got my coffee this is a coffee cup i got from I love me some coffee, so obviously I'm drinking coffee. I haven't even brushed my teeth, to be honest. Um, so I feel, but I feel like they got something on them and I haven't done coconut oil pulling. And when you do coconut oil pulling, it's a lot more smooth. Um, so anyways, I'm drinking coffee. And now, according to this lady, Ellie, um, Ellie Phillips. Ellie Phillips, um, she seems pretty legit because she tells you not to go to the dentist, so I like that. Well, she says the dentist cleaning can actually strip away all your minerals on your teeth. So guys, it almost seems like the less you do, the better. And you have to just keep your mouth closed, like continuously, guys. Like, think about it as your teeth, if they don't have moisture, they will start cracking. And your saliva is the moisture. And obviously the coconut oil pulling is going to help with that moisture. So this should be your resting face. Remember tongue? Anyways, guys, <clears throat> um, not trying to sell you anything, but this mouthwash that I got, uh, got it like Publix, Walmart, uh, some shop. I'm sure it's out there. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And this actually is very natural. And the ingredients are, and I'm not saying this lady recommends this stuff, but basically I just have my coffee. So what I would want to do is she talks about like, these mints, these xylitol mints. And I'm gonna talk about xylitol in a second, but what exactly it is, because I don't, I've heard of it, but I never thought it was like actually that good for your teeth, you know? All right, I see you guys, you're right there. Woo! The hair, oh, 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 it's getting so loud to the red light. Fire pain. Ingredients, here we go. We just got aloe. Okay, first ingredient, aloe. That's good, I think. And then second ingredient, Zytotel, and then it's got water, dead sea salt, uh, wintergreen leaf oil, citrus peel, coconut oil. So if you guys don't want to do coconut oil pulling, you can at least just switch with some mouthwash that at least do something. But coconut oil pulling is the way, the truth, the life, and the everything if you want to grow teeth and have amazing so peppermint oil. Okay, so guys, like... The end of this video, I'm gonna switch this around and then go spit it out, and hopefully it's gonna remineralize my tea. So we're gonna talk a lot more about this subject because that lady just posted that video yesterday, and I basically just showed you almost the whole video because it went into detail about pH. And sorry guys, I had to affect the sound because I didn't want to get some copyright infringement, so I have to make it all high pitched and stuff. But um, hope she liked my editing. <laughs> And I definitely did promote for her at the end. Um, okay, so let's just go basic. Um, let's see what Google says. Hey Google, what is xylitol? What is xylitol? According to Wikipedia, xylitol is a chemical compound with the formula CHO or hydrogen oxide oxygen monohydride. Specifically, one particular stereoisomer with that structural formula. It is a colorless or white crystalline solid that is freely soluble in water. It is classified as a polyalcohol and a sugar alcohol, specifically in aldatol. Okay, it's a chemical. That doesn't sound that good, guys. Um, wait. Why do people use xylitol on their teeth? to Delta Dental, unlike sugar, xylitol doesn't encourage cavity causing bacteria to produce acid. In fact, its molecular structure may actually inhibit the growth of these harmful bacteria. 
This helps you maintain a neutral pH, keeping the outer layer of your teeth intact. That's what she said. That's what she said. Xylitol doesn't encourage cavity causing bacteria to produce acid. Okay, so she talked about the reason your teeth are messed up is because they're too acidic. So we gotta get that pH of 7.4 and the xylitol helps inhibit uh, the growth of uh, uh, harmful bacteria to help maintain a neutral pH, keeping the outer layer of the teeth intact. This is exactly what she said, actually. This is what Google, you guys see that? This is what Google is saying, that it keeps the teeth, so to keep strong teeth, you've got to keep the pH balance good. Get closer here to me. Um, okay, um, so what's the best way to use? She talks about these, like, mints. Um, that kind of sounds cool. You eat and then you eat like a little mint. That's like not bad. Like it sounds better than even brushing your teeth after you eat. Because I've mentioned that. I'm not trying to mention stuff that's not... What is the downside? Ooh, here we go. What is the downside of xylitol? According to Delta Dental, high amounts of xylitol can cause diarrhea and intestinal gas. Because long-term effects aren't clear, you may want to steer clear of xylitol if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And, although it's safe for humans, even small amounts of xylitol can be fatal to dogs. <gasps> Don't get us here, dog. <sighs> My dog. Okay, so... What's the best way of using xylitol for your teeth? According to Carmichael Dental Care, you can consume xylitol in numerous ways for its dental benefits, including toothpaste, mouthwash, mints, mouth sprays, and even nasal sprays. However, we think xylitol gum is one of the best. Gum is portable, so you can carry it around with you and chew a piece after every meal. Nice. Okay, guys, so I guess you, I'm going to go look into xylitol gum, and I'll do some reviews, and um, we'll see if it makes a difference. So, um, Zytotol, alright, so I got my camper, and like, that's gonna cause, um, like, I guess my teeth to be acidic, unfortunately. I wish I had, like, pH strips for my mouth, that'd be cool. Ah. Uh, it's just like a clear liquid. I'm gonna go spit it out now, guy. Love you.